Uh, my name is Romel Archibald. My stage name is King Male. I am a freelance musician here in South Florida and an entrepreneur. So I've been a uh, freelance musician for a little bit over 20 years now. Um, touring, recording, producing here in the South Florida area with uh, various musicians and artists. I'm a church boy, so uh, my biggest inspiration is always going to be the man upstairs, God. He inspires me, he gives me life every day, and um, he gives me the ideas and the creativity that I'm able to just share with the world on a daily basis, but also the people that I have the abilities to work with every day, the musicians, the producers, just general people in life. I'm inspired by everything around me. I picked up my passion. Uh, honestly, I picked up my passion growing up playing in church, but as far as bass, um, I picked it up from my brother, one of my oldest brothers, um, Andrew. He's a DJ and a musician and producer. Um, he stopped playing bass at church for a little bit and the bass was just sitting there and I picked it up and his musical influence fell on me throughout the years, uh, being a DJ, being a producer, being a bass player, seeing him play in other bands, and it just flourished from there. The most recent one was uh, recently I had the opportunity to play at a jazz festival in Haiti. And um, just to see how wonderful the energy and the people there um, are was very, 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 very special to me. Um, I was able to play for at least 10,000 plus people in Cap Haitian and that was just last week, but it still sticks with me. It's probably one of my most memorable till today. Advice that I would give someone just starting out, I would say be patient with yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. You're going to have days when you just don't feel like doing it. I can't tell you how many times throughout my career I just said I'm done with music, but it's something you fell in love with and it won't leave you alone. It's one of those, those relationships that you can't leave alone. Um, so be patient with yourself. Um, be open to mentorship. Find people that are better than you, that you can learn from because it's gonna shape and mold you to be the musician that you need to be, the person that you need to be um, all around in life. How y'all doing? My name is Ramel Archibald. Um, thank you for having me. I am a South Florida freelance musician entrepreneur and um, I'm so nervous, but we're gonna have fun tonight. Um, I want to share with you guys a few songs that I've had the privilege of either recording on, producing, and songs that are just dear to me. I want to share them with you. Um, we live in South Florida and it's a melting pot for all kinds of flavors. And I want to share with you the genres that I have had the opportunity to learn throughout the years. Um, and we're going to take you on a journey. So everybody likes soul food, right? Soul food? This one is a R&B soul record that I had the opportunity to co-write and produce. It's called Dear Me. It's a song that speaks to oneself. It's a message to oneself saying, I'm sorry for doubting you. I'm sorry for mistreating you. I'm sorry for not being kind to you. And you is actually you. So Romel, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not thinking that you're super dope. I'm sorry for not thinking about all of the great things that you've accomplished. I'm sorry for mistreating you and not appreciating you. So it's a message to yourself. It's a sorry letter to yourself. And um, I'm going to go ahead and play along. Hope you enjoy it. Dear me. Get a little volume, please. Wait a minute, why do I find myself living life like it's a curse instead of a blessing? Wait a minute, why do I feel so tired? Is it maybe because I'm not living my dream?
Dear me, um, once again, it's a message to oneself. It's an apology letter to myself, always reminding myself that I need to be kind to myself. I need to remember that I'm great. We're all kings and queens, and um, don't ever forget that. So moving along in this journey of seasoning and spices, um, do we have any island people out here tonight? Anybody from Jamaica? Anybody likes Jamaican food? All right, that, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work. I'm from Jamaica, um, born in Kingston. I grew up here in South Florida, but my roots are definitely rooted in everything Jamaican. And um, this next tune is called Your Light. Um, it's actually a song written and performed by the love of my life, my fiance, Navandria Rose. She's a Bahamian recording artist. This is a song that she released uh, in 2019. It's speaking also about that inner light that's in you and I, no matter what's going on, all the craziness that's going on, you have to let that light shine. Um, the people that are around us, the people that we love, there are people that are watching us that we don't realize is watching us, they depend on that light. So don't ever forget to let that light shine. Um, play a little bit, a little reggae music, right? Everybody love reggae music? Yeah, man, run it.
that love is the antidote and don't ever forget your light shine you have a light that's shining inside of you and we can't wait to see what that light brings to the world let your light shine once again that was your light by Navandria roll you can check that out on all music platforms all right I'm still nervous but I'm, I'm gonna do this um, so let's stay in the Caribbean do we have any Haitians in the building or in the courtyard, rather. All right. Anybody from Haiti? Anybody love Haitian food? There we go. There we go. That'll work, too. The food always gets you. If you've never been there, you're not from there, the food will get you. So I actually had the opportunity to play in Haiti for the second time about a week ago at the PAP Jazz Music Festival in OCAP. That's uh, on the north side in Cap Haitian. And God has blessed me with the opportunity to be the bass player for... Uh, Haitian recording artist Felicia Ross, she is not a stranger to Palm Beach. She actually went and graduate, graduated at the uh, Performing Arts School here in Palm Beach. She is uh, a household name. And I've been rocking with her for a little bit over 10 years now as her bass player. She recently uh, released a new record called WAP Betize. You can find that on all um, social media platforms, musical digital platforms. A super dope music video was released. Um, Yours Truly was in it, Cameo. Uh, you can find that on YouTube. And we closed the jazz festival out with that, that song and the people did not want to go home. So it's definitely one of my personal favorites to play on our sets at all of our shows right now. And um, I want to share that with you. It's called Wat Betize. It's a uh, compa. Compa music is a whole vibe. If you've never been to a compa or Haitian party or festival, you need to make your way to one at least this year. At least one. It's super dope. Compa music is definitely one of my favorite genres to play other than reggae music. I mean, anything from the Caribbean is dope, right? So um, I want to get into that. This one is called Wat Betize. It's a compa original, a little bit of classical feeling at the beginning of the record and then we're gonna work our way into the party part. All right, DJ hit me. 
That was Wap Betty Zay by Felicia Ross. Uh, please check that out on all platforms. All right, so I'm still a little nervous, but how am I doing? This is actually my first time doing a solo presentation as a artist. 
ever in my 20 plus years of being a musician. And I thank you guys for sharing this moment with me. Thank you, West Palm Beach. Thank you, God. Um, I'm not gonna forget this. This is, a, this is a good moment for me. I'm gonna remember this. Thank you guys for sharing this with me. Um, I'm just so used to being behind artists. <laughs> I see you, bro. Thank you for coming out, bro. That's my bro right there. He's always with me on the road. Good to see you, Sergeant. Um, so, we have any Cuban people in the building? Any Latin people? Anybody loves Latin music? All right, all right, all right. So, once again, we're in South Florida where the seasoning is amazing. We have probably one of the best communities down here because um, we're so infused with so many different flavors. We got the Cuban music, we got the reggae, we got the compa, we have a little bit of everything. You can't go hungry down here. Between the food, the music, the vibes, the people, it's amazing here. And it's definitely shaped my career as a musician, just being able to dibble and dabble, jump in and out of all kinds of genres, meeting all kinds of people, taking me all around the world. I'm so grateful for it. But um, this is a personal favorite that I like to play at my gigs whenever I'm playing with bands, especially Latin bands. Little conga, um, Gloria Estefan. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna loosen up a little bit, try to uh, see if my fingers still remember how to do some things and have a little fun. This is gonna be my last one. And if you feel led to, please get up and dance. Let's have some fun. This one is Conga by Gloria Estefan. Get a little volume there.
Thank you. My name is Ramel Archibald. My stage name is King Male. You can follow me on Instagram at ikigai underscore legacy. And thank you guys for having me tonight. You guys got me through my first official solo show, and I'm going to remember that. So at my next big show at, uh, I don't know, let's say Madison Square Garden, all of you guys have VIP backstage passes. Come hang out with me. Special thanks to the Downtown Development Authority for having me. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to share my talents and gifts with you. Thank you.